On a mission to help eliminate hunger in and around southern Tazewell County, Open Heart Food Bank promises quality food for South Pekin. Good Thursday evening, everyone. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Caitlin Canute. Thank you for staying up late with us after football tonight. As Caitlin Pearson reports, they're not quite ready to open their doors just yet. It is tonight's top story. An estimated 1.5 million Illinois residents are considered food insecure. That's according to the U.S. Census. So one group in South Pekin is working to bring fresh food to their neighbors and none other than an old Casey's. Amy Lamberson remembers her family's own meal to meal struggle as a child, something that makes her emotional when seeing others with similar hardships today. Watching some very close people struggle that when they went to other food banks that while grateful for what they got, um, sometimes it wasn't enough. And, and, to, and to know that even going to a food bank, they still struggled was heartbreaking. Emailing the company on a whim, Casey's gifted her the building. She paid out of pocket for the 501c3, and the Open Heart Food Bank was born. There have been a number of hurdles along the way, the most recent being the broken fridge and freezer, estimated around $18,000. Lamberson says these are vital for providing fresh produce many take for granted. Several people can't afford vehicles, um, let alone go get groceries somewhere or to food banks out of town that are 20 minutes, 30 minutes away. The Tazewell County Health Department says recent surveys show most residents are only getting two of the recommended five servings of fruits and vegetables daily. This is concerning when she says fresh produce provides essential nutrients, reducing the risk of many diseases of heart disease, certain cancers, um, and then other things that, you know, chronic disease, diabetes. The more we eat the fruits and vegetables, the less likely we are to get those chronic diseases. Lamberson is touched by those who have given their money, supplies, and time. It makes my heart full that people want to help others and to know that there's good people out there that want to be involved. They want to get these doors open as soon as possible. So if you'd like to learn more about the Open Heart Food Bank or make a donation, you can find their Facebook page on this story on our website. For now, reporting in South Pekin, Caitlin Pearson, back to you.